Besides Joe Fisher was at the meeting and Joe, what's the biggest concern? Anita, Tom, sea level rise experts tell me the big challenge is how humans will adapt to the rising water. The water is already rising very, very slowly, they say, but it could ultimately change the landscape here in Hampton Roads. In a walk around The Hague, one of Norfolk's most flood prone areas, climate change experts brief Senator Mark Warner about a problem they say can't be ignored. It's a national issue. It's not just Norfolk, Virginia Beach. It's Philadelphia, Boston, New York. ODU oceanography professor Larry Atkinson says communities like Norfolk are already seeing the effects. Many homes have to be raised and there's a need to rise the downtown seawall. Sea level rise is real. Uh, we know churches here in Norfolk that have to change their schedule based upon the tides because of the constant threat of flooding. Christine Morris is Norfolk's chief resilience officer. It's her job to think towards the year 2100. We are seeing more storms um, uh, and we're seeing the frequency and the severity of them increase. Morris says it's possible population centers could shift and the downtown area could look much different in the future. Warner says the need to create jobs to adapt to sea level rise is a positive economic opportunity. Can we make Norfolk the example of the city and the community that leans most into trying to get resiliency right around sea level rise. Atkinson says the sea will likely be two feet higher by the end of this century. At the same time, land is sinking. Two feet of water would mean that all the main roads to the Navy base would be flooded almost all the time, certainly every high tide. Twice a day you'd be driving through salt water. And representatives from ODU say they want to be a national leader on climate change. They say they're here in Hampton Roads where it's happening, and they say the first step is creating a center for sea level rise at the university. Today, they asked Warner for help in creating that designation. Live in the newsroom tonight, I'm Joe Fisher. 10 on your side.